include everything. All right, guys, we are back in Kithgard Dungeon. We're finishing up a few things. It looks like this one became av available as well. Uh, basic syntax. Let's go ahead and equip our sword back. Find Senric and Omeron. Protect them with the Lightstone. All right, let's see what's going on here. So this is just basic syntax challenge, is what uh, I said. For some reason, it wasn't available before. I think this might have been one of the ones they added. So what are we trying to do here? Is I, I think we're just trying to move to both of them. Your goal is to get to the right side of the map alive. You don't need to fight the ogres, just move. Alright, so move up, move down, move up, move right, and then find Senric and Omar. Alright, so move here. So move right. right command on line three. Alright, let's try it. So we'll move right. Uh, move right. And then we want to move up. Then we want to move right. And then we want to move, move right. And then we want to oops, move, move right, move right, move down. All right, move right, move right. Move down, and then once we move down, we want to move right, and we want to move right, and then we want to move down. I think he'll probably join us from here, and then we want to move right. We don't. We just want to move right all the way. All right, let's try this one more time. Then hero dot move right. Let's go ahead and see it run our code. See if we have made any mistakes so far. Oh, so we're going to go ahead and pause that because we messed up right here. Alright, try it one more time. So move right, move right, move up. Mr. Yo. Try this one more time. Put in one too many statements there to move right. I think all we need to do is protect them right here. There you go. Uh, just a bunch of moving statements and heal up our guys with our stone all right now that we've gotten this completed we're gonna go into the ad, uh advanced all right guys so um we're gonna start without the wall loop so you can kind of understand the logic so we want to move up move right move right move up move down move right say the password that's our first goal right now so we know the password sesame because this bird creature is telling us so we're gonna say hero dot move move up and then we want to move right twice then we want to move right again. And then we want to move up and get this gem. So move up, move right, move right, move up. Then we want to move down. And then we want to move right. And at this point, we then want our hero to say, and our message is Sesame. So let's go ahead and run that and see if that works. goes a little bit of a lag there so move right move right oh it looks like we need one more command to move right so we're gonna move right let's do it again oh and I'm actually gonna turn off the sound because these fireballs were driving me nuts earlier move right move right Move right, move up, move down, move right, save the password, gate opens, all right, now here, we can say here, uh, we want to move right, let's 
let's run that a little bit faster. So, so after with a hero dot say, we want a hero to dot move right. I think we have to move right twice. All right, now let's run our code here. Again, my gaming downloads are slowing us down, so I will close that. So, Sorry, Steam. What are we trying to program? All right, cool, so we move right twice, and now we're at the step where we need to do something with these fireballs. So. Reach in the maze using move commands. Count how many gems you pick up and say the current count when near a fireball trap to disable it. So uh, we need to move up. And then we need to disable the trap. So we're going to say hero dot say. And I believe it's just one. I think that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and run this. Oh, let's see. So we say it disables, and then what we want to do from here is arrow dot move up. Uh, I think this is going to be two moves up. So we'll say here. Actually, we create. We'll create an enemy here, our enemy. And then we'll just hero dot attack enemy. And because uh, we need to do that twice, enemy. And at that point, so we've moved up, we'll have to move up one more. Or can we do a wall loop at that point? Let's, let's run this to see how it works. And then I think, let's see, it gets our gem, it opens the door. It goes up. We we need to move up once more. So let's do this. Arrow dot move up. Because I think what happens is we don't actually get in the line of sight until we move. So let's move up to here first. Get our guy. Break down the gate. We get here and then we attack this guy. And then I believe we can just do a while loop around this, and that should, because it looks like, <coughs> in terms of commands, we're already there. So let's go ahead and just throw a while loop around this, and see if this will get us to what we need to get to. So, so at that point, ooh, this isn't going to work at all. So we need to move left, move left, move left. Yeah. Okay. So we can't move right. So. We're not at our wall loop yet because we are moving the wrong way. So we kill this guy and then let's try hero dot move left, move left, and then move left. So we should be right here and then we have to move up, move up, hero dot move up, and then move up and what did we start with one more move up I believe now our while loop should work because now we're actually at the end of our loop got a little eager there all right so let's see run it Ugh, it's not looking good this is this right here is not what we want to be doing So it's around a little bit slow. Uh, it's a larger map than usual, a lot more stuff going on here. Oh, I think we might have done it. Let's put the, it looks like the fireball stop. So let's see here. Is it doing what it needs to do? 
Uh, sewing. Interesting. So it looks like we need to move left one more time. Move left, move left, move left. So, arrow dot move left. Alright. Granted, we could clean this up a little bit. Oh, we're trying not to use if statements because they haven't been introduced yet. So, our if statements would clean up a lot of this code. I think we got it. It's about 31 statements, but uh, we're using only what Kithgar Dungeon gave us. Sesame. And then we're going to disable the trap. Oh. Interesting. So, it looks like maybe we needed to move up one more time before saying that. Let's go ahead and run that. See if this fixes our code. Because it looks like up here it didn't disable it. Oh, a little bit of a lagarino there. Oh, come on. You can do it, browser. Uh oh. Yo, 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 don't crash on me. There we go. Uh oh. Is our logic working? I think it's having trouble. My CPU might be having trouble going with this while. Alright, so we're gonna. My browser seems to be freezing. Don't freeze on me, bro. Oh, snap is right! <laughs> Alright. Don't don't do this to me. Please tell me. Please. Code combat. Alright, so I think this is the only thing we need to do here. Alright, so let's pray to, uh, pray to um, RNG Jesus that uh, our code doesn't crash. So it did right here. So we didn't we didn't do something correct. We added the wrong move up command. So, right. So move up, move up. Oh, we already did this. Okay, so cool. So I think, I think we're good on here. So move up. It shouldn't be moving to this guy. Sesame. This so let's take out one of these move ups. So we want to say it. Sorry. Let's see what actually happened last time because it didn't register for for here. So we move up, move right, move right, move up, move down. Right. Cheers. Say the password. Move right. Move right. 
We move up. We say the password. We're going to disable it. Oh, I see what happened. Uh, we actually... How do we get our gem count? Without doing a wall loop. Uh, I see, I see. Um... Let's go to help and see if they tell us how to say that. No. So that's that's actually our code was right, but our wall loop right here. Alright, I'm okay doing this the janky way. Uh count how many gems you prepare and then say the current count near the fireball to disable it. So at this point, we would then say we could reiterate through our stuff, but I don't think we have a command to get our uh Points. So gems? How many gems? Let's see what happens when we say hero dot say gems. Oh. I would be very surprised. Missing quotes, try gem. Alright, let's actually do this. Because it looks, when it says something like that, it makes me think that, uh, Sorry to find. So we're gonna say it right here, because by then we would have had gathered one gem. So my, my theory is that this does not exist yet because we haven't got a gem yet. At some point it's going to say Chanchen. Easy enough. Uh, so we're gonna use variables. So let's go back to our wall loop. Set up wall true loop. Outside our wall loop, we're gonna create a variable called gem. And instead of one, we're gonna actually say gem. And right here, we're creating a variable outside so it doesn't get reset. We're going to say gem is equal to zero. Just hard set to zero. And then we're going to say when uh, what command does do we hit it? So we move up, move right, move right, move up. Uh, so one, two, three, four. So we move up. Move up, move right, move right, move right, move up. And then we're going to say gem plus equals one. So basically iterate add on to gem and say gem and it's going to run that and see what happens right now. So we got our gem. Should say one right here. If it does. Alright, very nice. I think we just we finished that. Um, for some reason, uh, I was thinking they were going to give us a command to say that when we could just do it ourselves. So right here, say it. Novesty. Very nice. Move up, move up. Attack homeboy twice. All right, cool. Um, a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, again, I do these live, so uh, I haven't done them before. And so sometimes you hit that a little bit. But, uh, oh, snaps. Oh, we already have all these items. We got a shit ton of experience in gems though, so I definitely suggest doing this. This will allow you to skip this section as well and move on to the next section. Um, 
I get syntax of variables may be pretty basic if you have a little bit of programming background. Now, um, boomer bust, polar bust, I don't know. Uh, we're only going to be doing the ones that are free, defense of plainlands, all the red ones. So, in the next video, we'll get started with Backwoods Forest. Hope to see you guys then. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and support me on Patreon. Check out wayup.com. It's a great way to find full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs, and one-time freelance work for the college student. All you need is a .edu email. It's completely free, and you'll help me out in the process too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.